Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you what lenses you need to have in your bag that will make your videos more cinematic. See this one right here? This is anamorphic lens from Freewell and it's a really cool lens that gives you about 15 to 20 percent wider field of view and the other lens that you should consider purchasing is this one here on the top it's a fish shadow lens which I've reviewed in the past before but in the description below I'm going to put the links to both of these products and all the other stuff that I use to make the video and uh, I think you really should have one of these in your bag because of the fact that it gives you more options to make creative content so when you get more creative you get more cinematic right so to be able to show you guys the video comparison between the lenses what I did is I used the Droney quick shots the quick shots Droney and rocket to illustrate the difference between the lenses and the reason why I chose those is because they're automated shots that give you the same perspective at the same time, right? So, with that said, um, let, let me show you the video I put together for you guys, okay? And then uh, we'll talk about what we see, okay? Let me go ahead and uh, show you that right here. Let me start the screen recording. Three two one okay and then I'm going to pull the video up here all right so this is the video and we're going to start with the anamorphic lens comparison and this is a picture I took uh, at a place called Browns Island and it looks like and then I put a square box of what should the squeeze factor is like uh, on the anamorphic lens all right, so the quick shot resolution is 1080p at 29.7 frames per second. I'm going to render this video or upscale it to 4K and upload it to YouTube in 4K. So this is the shot without the lens. Okay. This is what you would normally use and here is the anamorphic lens. So one thing to note is how your subject or objects get elongated a little bit. Okay, but the big deal is how much wider your field of view is. Okay, take note of the sidewalk. How much of the sidewalk you can see on the sides versus the regular lens. Okay, here's a side-by-side -side comparison. This is the elongation of the object is more evident here when you do a side-by-side. -side. I sped up the video here four times to get to the end to show you exactly what I'm talking about. You can see how much more sidewalk you see on the left. You see another bridge coming in a picture. And on the right, you see benches. Here on this picture, you see the bridge on the right and the road on the left. And you see the square box that I put around here to illustrate the differences between the two pictures. All right, and now we're using the rocket to illustrate the difference. Again, the rocket or drone shot, I should say, is 1080p at 29.7 frames per second, speeding up the video to 4x to get to the end. And here we are without the anamorphic lens. Now, with the anamorphic lens, you'll take note how much wider your field of view is. At the end of this shot, this drone shot, you'll be able to see the bridge on the right with traffic and a road on the left with traffic. See that? That was not available to you in a normal lens. It's really evident when you do a side-by-side -side comparison. And let's speed it up one more time. And there we are. See the difference? It's quite a lot. At least noticeable to me. 
And this is a little busy four quadrants. The lower quadrants are with the anamorphic lens, but you can really see the difference here, how the shapes change with the anamorphic lens. But what you get out of it is a larger field of view. So that is it for the anamorphic lens. And the next scene we're gonna see is a montage of some pictures I took of the Mavic Air 2 with the anamorphic lens. There we are. This is what the Freewell anamorphic lens looks like. This is what it looks like on the drone. Pretty cool, bad looking lens, in my opinion. Okay, so that's the montage, and next is the comparison of the fisheye lens versus the anamorphic lens. Now, it really does make a difference where you're using the fisheye lens around something round because it kind of frames it right correctly. But look how much more field of view you're able to capture with the fisheye lens. Tremendous amount. You can see that. You're able to see the river, you see the railroad tracks below, and at the city skyline you see so many more buildings. Right? Now, you do get some distortion out of it. You can see that for sure. But the benefits are that you're getting that tremendous field of view. So you have to pick your shots, you know, pick your poison correctly in a sense, right? What lenses you're gonna use for what shot. All right, so we're almost at the end of the video, guys. I wanna thank you for watching and uh, let me know in, in the comments below which lens you prefer. Do you prefer the fisheye lens, anamorphic lens, or both? I'm using both. Okay, and once again, the description to the lenses are in, uh, I'm sorry, the links are in the description below. Okay, if you don't see them, hit that show more button. All right, that is it. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.